friends, I want to do a quick video on a very cool tool, TradingView.com. I was uh, perusing the internet, looking at YouTube videos. Uh, one guy I like to watch is Rain Artio. Uh, he's he's a, a very funny uh, day trader, and he does a lot of videos. And he was using this tool, and I was very intrigued by how cool this tool was. Turns out um, it's uh, free. Well, there's different tiers, but the free account is extremely powerful, and that's what I'm using as a free account. I haven't paid for it, uh, and I'm I'm, I'm loving uh, this, how powerful this tool is. It's really a financial analysis, a trading powerhouse. You can do strategies, you can do custom indicators, uh, and uh, you're just using the free account. I'm getting uh, over uh, 5,000 um, uh, stock products, including Bitcoin, Forex, all that for free in real time. Some of them are not real time, depending on these more, more exotic exchanges, but the, the common stuff is all free, real time, and I just think it's phenomenal. So I'm going to give you a quick tour. Uh, welcome to the Viralamel Show. My name is Manuel Amanategui. You can find me at viralamel.com, V-I-R-A-L-M-L.com. Sign up for my newsletter, upper left. Get updates on my videos, updates on my books, uh, any any products I have, and also deals and classes, which I do have uh, occasionally. So tradingview.com, you need to sign up for an account. Uh, so just go to tradingview.com, sign up. It's free. Uh, that's what I did. I got a free the free account, and uh, kind of like the the national pastime has become you know trading or day trading or looking at the markets. Uh, we can't go out. A lot of us are stuck at home because of the coronavirus, and so trading is like the the new sport. I love it. It's a lot of fun, and this tool is phenomenal. Um, so unless we need to do, you know, some machine learning, or something complex, there's no need to break out the Python like I do in my other videos. Uh, this tool is really cool because it does allow, uh, you know, some level of, uh, of programming. Uh, there are quite a lot of scientific functions available. There's all these moving averages, all that good stuff. Uh, you can, you know, tie in different um uh, different products together in a single indicator. Uh, maybe in a, in a future video, I'll show that. So here it is. We're looking at um, you know my basic free account. Uh, I have um, the daily. So I'm looking at the daily uh, candlesticks of the S&P 500, the, the spiders in this case, the spiders ETF. And we can do candles. You can do bars. Uh, I like looking at this. It. very simple. And there's also Renko. So on a free account, you can only go down to uh, daily. You can't do anything smaller with Renko. But what's cool about Renko, what I like, is to quickly get your levels. So option H will get these horizontal lines. And you can quickly put, you know, levels of where we are. Uh, and then you can just jump back into, um, you know, your regular uh, either uh, uh, bar charts or uh, candlesticks. And, you know, you can adjust your levels to see where you are in the market that's kind of what I like to do. And you can even, you know, uh, option T on the Mac will allow you to do trend lines, see where you're breaking or not. This is the spiders. Um, let's go to Bitcoin because it's the only exchange that's open. I'm filming this on Saturday. Everything is closed except uh, Bitcoin. So let me just clean up this chart, remove everything. So daily Bitcoin. Uh, let me let me go. Let me put some trend lines here so we can see what's going on. We clearly see here where's an upper trend since the 12th of March, kind of going up. We're in a we're in a channel, clearly see that. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, you can go back to your candle view if you want. Here it is with a candle view. And then you can start, you know, I like to go on a higher time frame, to add trend lines, all these things, and then slowly go down. So now I'm in the hour, same thing. You can do the, the horizontal boundaries, see where you know, important price points, you know, here is your support, here is your resistance. Go down, keep going down to the 30 minutes. 30 minutes, we can clearly see a channel here broke out so it's it's kind of breaking out of this uh, shorter time frame channel and let's go down all the way to uh, the five minutes and here it is five minutes at that level is kind of going up right so very very powerful way of kind of jumping between times if you have a paid account you can do different pains uh, I imagine that's cool I don't and here it look like we are going down so this is this is actually open uh, the Bitcoin US dollar and we are looking like we are going down let's add a um, an, in, a, an indicator uh, a very simple one is the the, the uh, smooth um, or the simple moving average you click the FX button and there are a lot of them. There's also public libraries, so you can share your indicators or use other people's indicators, which is really cool and fun. There's a community behind here. I just want a simple moving average. So I'm typing SMA. Here it is. And there we, we have, uh, this is seven period. That's way too fast. So on your options button, we're going to go to a 50 period. I like the 50 period because it kind of shows well. Um, this goes in here. You know, if you're bullish or bearish, if the if it's rising or not, it tends to, you know, it tends to show 
uh, the bottoms or the tops, like a support and resistance. So here we clearly see for a while here, uh, you know, the last few hours we were kind of, you know, uh, it was bouncing, up. it was as a support line and it looks like we're trying to make it into resistance, trying to go lower. So very simple, very easy to play around with. Um, you have uh, all sorts of drawing tools. Here's another cool one too. Uh, if you want to calculate a, a long or short position, let's say you want to trade, uh, let's, let's, let's pretend that, you know, uh, we have this channel and we want to buy here, right? After the fact, I'm gonna make this chart a little bit bigger. So let's say I was gonna buy this, uh, this, this bottom low here, and I wanna see what I need to do for a, uh, let's say a two to one risk reward. So I can add this tool here, put it where uh, the entry point is, put your risk in red, and here it will tell you, in order to make a you know two to one trade, there you'd have to put your uh your 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 you have to exit out of the trade here and your your you know your stop loss would be over here right so very powerful tools uh to 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 use to quickly see what's going on another one i uh, like here is the um is the price range very simply it will tell you right for a certain range how many uh pips or dollars or whatever you're looking at uh, in kind of a square area. So very powerful, very easy to use tools. And if you are not trading, but you're interested in financial analysis, this is a very powerful tool here as well. Uh, I was actually looking at a few stories. Uh, uh, one is VNQ. So this is the, um, let me go back to the daily view here. Let me remove all these things. The trash can there, we cleared it out. Uh, there, uh, you know, this is the, the real estate, uh, commercial real estate funds. Uh, I think I got another one here, which is this one here, here, another real estate. So there's a bunch of these real estate. So I want to look at specifically at the commercial ones because uh, we are all working at from home. People, are, some, a lot of companies are going to allow people to work from home. They're realizing how much money they're saving on rent, uh, on liability. Uh, it's, it's a huge, it's a huge boon. Uh, places like uh, co-working places like WeWork are in deep trouble. They're trying to renegotiate all their leases. Nobody wants to go there, obviously now. And maybe it's going to change completely. People are going to start working from home. Um, and here it is. So this would be a short play. Well, on and, and medium, medium turn. Uh, so let's, let's kind of, here we are on a daily view. We can clearly see there's a downtrend. We are under the the the, the 50 period moving average. Um, there was a little leg up here from our, our March lows, and now we're going back down. But I think it's probably going to go down in the longer run. I mean, I think the the way we've been working in the past may have completely changed. We now, uh, if we can ever find a vaccine, we're always going to have to have this distance uh, amongst each other. Things have changed. So this is the kind of things that you can start uh, researching. Okay. It also gives you details about uh, the, the, the day's range, a 52-week range. Uh, you can get fundamental uh, uh, analysis information here. It'll tell you all the fundamental stuff, which I like to see. And, and this paint's a little small here, and I apologize, but you also get news live real-time news about the stock if there are big news announcements like uh you know if, uh, interest rate changes or news about uh the sector or if you're looking at a stock about the stock about earnings you'll have these little icons that's going to warn you that something big is coming out which i think is super useful i like to have these little reminders so you don't always have to look everywhere um that's one idea the other one is logitech right they make they're the makers of um uh, you know, mouses, cameras, right? They, they, all these tools are developing. We now have Zoom is a big one. Logitech are making all these stay-at-home, work-from-home tools. That's a long play, right? We, we if, if 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 the idea that uh, uh, you know commercial real estate is is changed and you know all this, the big stores are going down and office space is going down, these tools for remote work are gonna go up. So that's Logitech. And you can see it. People are feeling the same way. Let's see if we can have a, um, a, a easier to see as what they call here the uh, the line chart. And we can clearly see it was you know this company was uh, Logitech was uh, you know in a downtrend before uh, you know the big uh, the, the March lows, and now it's doing really well. It's going back up. Um, and that would be also a longer term play. So anything you want to look at, you can see here, uh, as you can see, a lot of these uh, st uh, stocks right now are closed, but very easy to switch back in and forth. And I'm really just uh, scratching the surface here. Here, uh, you have a stock screener, that's pretty cool. 
uh, and you can screen stocks by all sorts of criteria. Uh, you can do uh, by technical analysis. You can do by fundamental analysis. You can do the, the typical, you know, volume leaders, volume losers, uh, price biggest price moves in the past uh, day, two days, 52 weeks, whatever. You can do that. So you can quickly get uh, some stock ideas that you want to look at. So I really like that part. Um, you can do some text notes apparently, and this is what I really like. This is the uh, the um, uh, the the script editor where you can edit both your financial indicators, your technical indicators, and your uh, trading scripts. So I haven't uh, explored the trading stuff yet, uh, but the the financials I've, I've been playing around with a technical analysis. For example, here um, it says plot close. Let's see, we're gonna do a color equals uh, color dot. Uh, let's go. I don't know, yellow. You save it. Actually, no, we I'm added the chart. close in yellow. I could have done a better color here. Uh, actually, let me change the color. Let's go with blue. Save it. Uh, actually, I don't want to save it. I just want to add it to a chart. So now we're going to have two because if you're not saving it, it's going to keep adding to it. But here we have a very simple indicator. And I'll go into this in more detail in another video. We'll do some real indicators. One thing I've been playing around with is doing indicators based on multiple assets. So, for example, if you're trading a stock that's a, a, a strong member of one of the indexes, how about looking at the adjacent indexes and making a cool indicator by looking at all of these, 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 these adjacent indi indicators and seeing if it can, you know, tell you anything about, uh, you know, the current price, maybe even, you know, uh, future price. So very cool tool. I just want to do this quick video about it. I want to use it a lot more. Uh, like I said, this is kind of being the, the international hobby right now. Uh, this is the new sports is looking at the stock market because really it's the only thing that's happening these days uh, for those who are stuck at home. And again, uh, you know, if you're interested in this stuff, don't forget to uh, sign up for my newsletter at viralmail.com. I also have 50% uh, while we are in, uh, you know, uh, we're stay at home of all my classes, including uh, the class, which is here. You go to the classes button at the site, including my fundamental market analysis, where we are looking at using Python for more complicated um, uh, and a fundamental analysis, where I show about all these custom data sources. So that's one thing we can't really do, unfortunately, with this tool, is there is all these really cool alternative data sources, which you still need to do work in Python. So Python, we're still going to work with it, because especially when you need to do machine learning, when you need to do TensorFlow uh, on the markets, you still have to rely on Python. But this, for, for quick, quick and dirty looks, or uh, you know, day trading, this tool is, is phenomenal. I'm just surprised it was uh, uh, not in, on my radar, and I had to, you know, look at other uh, other friends on YouTube making cool videos showing this tool, and I was like, wow, this is really cool. I want to know more about this. Thanks for watching.